Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and today we are going to be making some delicious crab cakes using lump and jumbo lump crab meat served with a curry remoulade and a nice fresh spring salad. Now, as usual, all the ingredients and measurements will be listed in the description box down below. Now, the crackers that I like to use inside these crab cakes are these nice buttery crackers. I feel that it adds a lot more depth of flavor to these crab cakes. And here's our spread of our ingredients for our crab cakes. We have our beautiful jumbo lump crab meat along with our lump crab meat. Then we have seasoning, not from the new bay, but from the old one. Then we have a whole egg, some Dijon mustard, one whole small shallot, the entire green scallion, our buttery crackers, mayo, and I love to coat these crab cakes with some panko. Now, because crab meat is so delicate, I like to mix all the ingredients that we have before we fold in our crab meat. That way it prevents it from being all shredded up beyond recognition. So just add all the wet ingredients and give this a very thorough whisking. You can use a whisk if you want or a spoon or a fork. I just happen to like using chopsticks. Make sure that everything is well incorporated. Always give this a little salt and pepper. Then we're gonna add in our seasoning and then our shallots and our scallions and give this a complete thorough mix. You want to make sure that all your ingredients are evenly incorporated. I'm going to switch to a spatula because now we're going to start to fold in the rest of the ingredients. As you can see, we're building the binding agent to our crab cakes. You can only imagine what would happen to that beautiful lump crab meat if we were to add it right now. And once everything is mixed together, we can take our smaller lump crab meat. This we can break up a little bit and then just fold everything together but you still want to be gentle with this lump crab. You don't want to shred it to bits. And then now we're going to add our jumbo lump. Look at how beautiful these giant pieces of crab meat are. And once you get all this into the bowl, this is where you have to be very careful in folding the ingredients together. Now is the time that you want to take extra care of the jumbo lump. You want to keep them as big and as whole as possible. By doing this, you're gonna ensure that you're gonna come up with some gorgeous and super sexy crab cakes. So just grab a handful of your crab cake mix. These should come out to be around a little bit more than three ounces. So that should give you about five crab cakes. Obviously you can make them as big or as small as you want. It's all up to you. And then just go ahead and ball all these up and put them onto a nice sheet tray or a separate plate because these will go into the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes before we bread them and cook them. Look at how beautiful these crab cakes are. Hardly any filler. You can see the big chunks of jumbo lump crab. And again, these will go into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes before we bread them. And once the 30 minutes is up, take them and just gently put them into a bowl of panko and just press the panko into the crab cake. And then you'll set them on another sheet tray and then they will go into the refrigerator until you're ready to cook them. Now, every cook and every chef has their favorite pan. For me, my favorite pan is this eight and a half inch Nano Bond Titanium Skillet by Heston. Not only does this pan look gorgeous, but it cooks food beautifully. We're gonna go ahead and preheat this skillet on medium. I used Gas Mark 4. And then when I cook my crab cakes, I like to start off in a little bit of olive oil, get this thing nice and hot. You can see the oil shimmery and slowly slide your crab cake into the pan. And this will cook for about four minutes on each side. I really love this skillet. Look at how easy this crab cake just glides on the surface. And the number one reason why I love this pan is it cooks everything just so perfectly even. So after four minutes on that side, gently flip it over and cook for another four minutes on this side. And then when you're about three minutes in on this side of the crab cake, you're gonna add a little knob of butter and then you're gonna gently slide your crab cake into the pool of the frothy butter just so it can get up on the sides and you can lightly baste this crab cake so you can get that nice buttery flavor all throughout the crab cake. So after about eight minutes of total cooking on medium heat, our crab cake is done. What we can do now is we can take it out and slide it onto a wire rack and let it rest while we work on our remoulade. All right, now it's time to work on our very quick and easy curry remoulade. Now, if you don't have yellow curry, 
you can go ahead and skip it. Then you'll just be left with a delicious regular remoulade. So here I put about a quarter cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon each of chopped capers and dill relish, a little squeeze of lemon, maybe about one teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna end up adding about one and a half teaspoons of curry powder. And then to finish off our remoulade, just a little tiny bit of yellow mustard. Now we don't need to add any additional salt because the capers and the dill relish and the mustard have enough salt to carry the flavors throughout this whole sauce. All right, let's go ahead and plate this. We have about one tablespoon of our curry remoulade, our crab cake. Now the spring mix green salad that I'm using, um, I have a traditional French vinaigrette. I will include the recipe down below, or you can just use olive oil and lemon with a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna garnish with some pickled Fresnos for a little bit of acidic pop and a little bit of heat, which I find rounds out this dish perfectly. And then just finish this dish with some Maldon sea salt and a little drizzle of olive oil. Now look at what we have created. A beautiful jumbo lump crab cake with a curry remoulade sauce, a nice refreshing side salad with some pickled Fresnos and a nice little lemon wedge on the side to cut through the richness of this whole seafood dish. I can't wait to dig into this crab cake knowing that we did not put a bunch of filler in here and we took extra care of our lump and jumbo lump crab to keep it as intact as possible. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Give this recipe a try. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of this. Everyone, please be safe out there. And as always, peace.